Hey guys, hope you are having a great day. In today's episode, we are going to go over how to get more wins in Call of Duty Warzone. Do you ever wonder, man, how do I get more wins? Why do I die a lot when it comes to Final Circle? How can I improve and win more games? What could I have done differently? Well, not to worry, in today's episode, we are going to go over everything you need to know to win more games in Call of Duty Warzone. We will also be going over what you should be thinking about right before Final Circle, what you should buy at the buy stations, what are good rotations, what are good power positions, and general strats to increase your chances of getting that win. Throughout the video, I'll be breaking down some of my gameplay and I'll be explaining my thought process to give you insight on how me and my squad approach Final Circles. By the end of the video, you'll have the knowledge on how you should prepare for endgame, how to make good rotations in final circles, understand power positions, and you'll understand the strategies you should be using to win more games in Call of Duty Warzone. Really quickly, how you play is ultimately up to you. However, I don't recommend camping until final circle and just trying to get the win that way. We want authentic wins where we play smart, aggressive, get some decent kills and improve at the same time. Without further ado though, let's begin on how to get more wins in Call of Duty Warzone tips and tricks. Tip number one, improve your gun mechanics. If your gun skills are lacking, reality is it's really hard to win games consistently. So overall, the first thing I would focus on is improving your gun mechanics. The main areas slash skills I would focus on is having the ability to strafe while shooting, adding movement to gunfights, utilizing cover while shooting, and working on your accuracy slash recoil control. There are no shortcuts. To get more wins consistently, having good mechanics are essential. I've already made some videos on these subjects where I go into detail. I'll leave a link in the description and you can check those videos after if you are interested. I highly recommend accessing a buy right before Final Circle when possible. What you want to buy are clusters and airstrikes. At this point of the game, a lot of people already have ghosts, so UAVs are not as effective. If you have extra money, also grab some self revives, ammo or armor boxes. So clusters are super useful if you need to make a rotation or you need to scatter the enemy team. Airstrikes are also super useful just getting kills, clearing the area. So it's really personal preference. I prefer clusters but a lot of my teammates prefer airstrikes but they're both very valuable when it comes to end game. Tip number three, power positions. So when you start hitting the final circles, you and your team need to start thinking about the best position. Getting power position will not guarantee your win but it will most certainly help. Generally, you want to have high ground and as much cover as possible. You want to be safe while the other teams are fighting it out and take out the last team with the least amount of risk. That would be the perfect scenario. There are a couple of ways to get good power positions. For example, you can get there early and hold down the fort if you have enough cover. Or you can make good rotations and clear out areas to get that power position at the end. It kind of just depends on the scenario and what the final circle looks like. Tip number four, rotations. Reality is you're not always going to have access to power positions. And to be honest, power positions is not always the best play as they can be occupied by multiple other teams already. So this is where you need to perform rotations to clear out areas and play the edge of the circle. So with rotations, you don't want to run straight in the middle and just fight everyone at the same time. You want to rotate and clear specific areas and fight teams one at a time. Generally, you also want to rotate to cover. There should always be an end goal to your rotation. You can't just be running around in the open. Your rotation should always have an objective, like, hey, let's clear this area over here, or yes, let's try to get cover over there. In this example, me and my team are heading into final circle. Notice how I get into a safe position and check my map. At this point, we decide what our rotations are going to be. We decide to rotate to the right and go up to the hill instead of rotating to the left. This is due to the right side being covered by the gas and we're also able to get high ground. If we were going to rotate to the left, we would have to clear this whole area, which is way more risky. When rotating, there should always be one member checking your flanks or checking behind you. In this scenario, that was me. My teammate managed to clear the area ahead of us, which is super important as you'll see later. We spot the enemy team on the other side. Due to us having cover and high ground, I'm not too worried about being third party, so I take the fight. Armor. 
Notice here, we we're able to take out the enemy team with just some good positioning. We we're able to use the circle to our advantage, and we ended up getting the team wipe. At this point, we have power position. We have high ground and cover. Notice early, we had to clear this area by making good rotations. We put the pressure on the other team and managed to get the win. Hey, on the right, on the right. Up high. Okay, let's turn back time a little bit, go back to the beginning and break it down even further. So this was the final circle and these were the positions of all the teams. And by the looks of it, we did choose the correct rotation. For example, if I went into the middle to access the buy or camp the highway, I would have been taken out for sure because a multiple line of sights would have been on me. If my team had rotated to the left, we would not have power position on that last play, even if we did take out the teams. So rotating right, taking out teams one by one, getting high ground seemed to be a good move. And as you can see, thinking about rotations before taking gunfights, especially in final circles, is super important. Make sure you implement this in your own gameplay as well. Really quickly, I just want to say thanks to everyone who are watching my videos. I really do hope these are helping. Shout out to my subs, we're currently around 12,000 subs. I really appreciate the support, you guys are the best. Please smash the like button if you are enjoying the video. If you're new here, I make a lot of Warzone tips and tricks videos. We cover aiming, movement, how to win gunfights and much more. So if you are interested, make sure to sub to the YouTube channel. But without further ado, let's continue with the video. So in this scenario, we are heading into final circle and we are kind of out of position. At this point, we need to decide to rotate to the left or rotate to the right. We don't run straight into the middle and risk being attacked by multiple teams. Another key note, always try to assume that there is an enemy squad in the power position, which in this scenario, it's up in the hills. We think the left side is a little bit too open. So we decide to rotate to the right as we have a bit more cover here and hopefully we can catch the enemy team off guard who already has power position. Keynote, we kind of spot the enemy team here, but my teammate gives the order, do not shoot. This is super important. Try not to compromise your position in the middle of rotations and when you're out in the open. Me and my squad split up a little bit here due to the circle. My goal here right now is to help cover my team from the top while staying alive at the same time. Notice how I don't full sin and play it quite patient just to make sure my team stays alive and I get those picks. So we managed to clear the team and now we got the power position. We are pretty comfortable at this point and it looks like that rotation paid off. So we're fighting the final team at this point. Notice how I used my cluster mentioned in the earlier tip. I use it to scatter the enemy team. The team is forced to move and we continue to put on the pressure. Hey, I'm getting shot from the road. Watch out the road. My teammate manages to get a pick and calls it out. So at this point, I decide to push it, play a bit more aggressive to try to wipe the team out. This tripped me out a little bit. We both threw stuns at the same time and they both cancelled each other out. I didn't know this was a thing. So right here, I was being shot from the right. Luckily, my squad had my back. Thanks squad. As you can see, having good teamwork yeah, yeah. mixed with good rotations can really increase your chance of winning more games. If you think about sharing this with your squad, I highly recommend it. A good squad means a good time. Tip number five, stay calm. I noticed when I play Final Circle, sometimes my heart rate goes up like crazy or I just get super nervous. I notice I miss my shots a lot or do stupid plays when I'm not relaxed and I'm not focused. I recommend before getting into final circle and trying to get that win, just chill out for a couple seconds. You want to take a deep breath, slow your heart rate down and relax. Shake the hands out and just reset. With your heart rate down and now you're calm and focused, you are way more likely to hit your shots and you're in a good mindset to make good decisions. My final thoughts about final circles and winning more games. It's really hard to win every final circle you play. 
Circle positions can sometimes be very favorable to a particular team. So if you don't get that win, don't stress too much. There is always next time. Getting wins in this game is not easy at all, but I think that's why we love the battle royale structure so much. It's quite an amazing feeling getting a win in Warzone. I remember getting my first win low key, I nearly cried. I remember hugging my girlfriend and she's like, get off me. I think getting the win is important, however, it shouldn't be the overall goal. I think the objective is just to enjoy the game, try to improve and just have fun and naturally you'll get more wins. I hope you do enjoy the content. Please smash the like button if you found this video helpful. Also remember to sub to the YouTube channel if you are interested. Good luck on the Warzone and I will see you guys next time.